Hi there, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rachel Agasha and on the channel we do just about everything in the United States. Yeah. So for those who have been watching the channel, you know by now that at some point we used to do this, host different people in the channel, talk about this, talk about that. And in today's video, I am joined by another amazing soul. Now, if you're seeing my face for the first time, did I introduce myself? <laughs> Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, so on the channel, we talk about everything America. I share my experience. I talk about the DV lottery. For those who know me, I won the DV lottery in 2021 and moved to the States in 2022. But today's video is not about me. It's about somebody else who is going to be sharing uh, their experience and different other things about herself. Yeah? Now, I know very many people out there... Um, want to move to the US to do school, to do life and all these other things. So she's going to be sharing her experience, how she got here, why she decided to do whatever it is that she's doing in the United States. And if you have any questions, leave your questions in the comment section. If you have any opinions, please leave your opinions in the comment section. Do not feel the need to attack us. <laughs> We just be sharing from our experience mostly, <laughs> you know. So uh, I hope you love this video. If we give you a reason to subscribe, please go right ahead. Leave your comment if you have anything to say. If you have questions, like I said, leave them in the comment section. So please tell us who you are and what you're doing in the United States of America. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this sounds like I've just been picked up by ICE. I know. And they're about to deport me. Right. <laughs> Uh, my name is Elizabeth and thank you so much for hosting me today. It's my pleasure to be here thank you. and share with your viewers mm -hmm. my experience. Um, I'm a lawyer by profession. Mm -hmm. I'm also a business professional. Mm -hmm. um, I moved here in July of 2022 for school, mm -hmm. uh, primarily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Uganda, so hi guys. <laughs> Everyone from Uganda and East Africa and Africa, we're sending our love to you. We mm -hmm. love you. Yes. Um, so where do you want us to begin? Yeah. So Elizabeth did school in the United States of America and I'd like for her to share about that. Now, if you are from Uganda, from East Africa, West Africa, South Africa, the UK, wherever, Asia, Europe, no problem. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, most of us really want to do school in the U.S. So she's going to be sharing with us why she decided to do school in the U.S., um, what she did, how she got here, you know, that whole transition. Like I said, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section and we shall be able to respond to those. So when did you decide? When did you make up your mind? And you're like, you know what? Let me go to this country and study. Yes. First of all, did you want it? Did you want to? Um, so like all of us, when you're done with school, especially the first few years of university. Mm -hmm. So I had done five years of law school. Mm -hmm. I was tired. <laughs> I know. I was, <laughs> so I was tired. I was done. Mm -hmm. I just told everyone, you know what? I am never, ever, ever going back, back to, to school. school. Yeah. Uh, so I worked for a while, I think for about six years, mm -hmm. and I was doing fine, really. Uh, but, you know, even as we have these conversations and, and we talk about this, there are other things that will come in. So just at this point, I just want to say, don't settle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't settle for good, mm -hmm. yet there could be something better, better yeah. or there could be something perfect. Mm -hmm. So I think for me it was a case of I was actually doing fine. I had an amazing job in one of the most enviable offices <laughs> in my country. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you get to a place where you're thinking, is this it? Mm -hmm. And like back, back track, um, I think like 10 years ago, mm. I had sat down and done a strategic life plan. So usually people do these and hire consultants to do strategic plans yeah. for like organizations and mm -hmm. companies. I had a strategic plan for my life. Mm -hmm. And well, so this would have been five years before I, you know, 10 years ago. So that is like at eight years, you're thinking eight years into this strategic plan. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I had set out to do was to be a doctor. 
but now I had a bachelor's mm. and to be a doctor you needed a master's sure so because there was a plan that had already been set in motion mm-hmm. I feel like every time you set out to do a plan or write something down like mm. if you're a Christian like the Bible says write the vision down, down. Yeah. somehow you still come back to it sure so I think it was one of those things that happened mm. so I I look back to this plan that has me being a doctor as I like, okay um I'm done here I feel like I'm done here what next mm. so I decided I wanted to do my masters in law and lucky for me I had had uh friends who had gone both to the UK to Europe to TZ mm-hmm. or to South Africa for mm-hmm. their masters. Yes. And when I compared the experiences, the guys that came to America always described it as a one year long vacation. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> the ones that went to the UK because mm-hmm. you know our education system is yes. British. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know how much we suffered oh, in, yeah. in life. <laughs> yeah, so Even though I had not reached the point of making the decision to come here, I always knew if I ever decide to go back to school, mm. there's only one place I can go. The to the land States. of the free. <laughs> to test the American dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So mm. that was pretty set out for me. Mm-hmm. So unlike my friends because I had colleagues who had to like do research mm. in other universities in the UK, mm-hmm. um all around the world, Germany, yeah. Italy, mm-hmm. But for me it was clear cut uh, from the start all my applications what to this yeah, country yeah. yeah yeah so when i decided that's what i wanted to do next i did my research and what did i base on we are from third world countries sure. so money is going to be a very very big factor sure. in the us if you're coming to do law school there's what they call the t14 schools the yeah. top 14 basically mm-hmm. and i think the living estimates the costs of that is going to be over 100,000 now mm-hmm. to just paint a picture <laughs> 100,000 in Ugandan shillings is about 400 million, million. yeah that amount is in hand of yeah so that was a very big factor you're mm-hmm. looking out for schools that give scholarships yeah. you're looking out for schools that um that are big on diversity because sure somehow one or another race plays into this sure, thing. Sure. So I was also looking out for schools um so yeah that top 14 mm-hmm. as that was my aim so top 14 in your field yeah. and that top 14 would usually have bigger scholarships. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I sent out seven applications. I know I hear you. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> it's quite a journey. I will be honest it's great every single day I just wanted to give up you know because you have to write personal statements mm-hmm. and like the word says it's a personal statement mm-hmm. no one is going to help you with that yeah and you're writing for seven schools and you're going to have to get recommendation letters Yeah. So this is the time to call up your your lecturers, your yeah. one year professor <laughs> who you haven't spoken to, to in forever, years, right? Yeah. And meanwhile this is you, you've built a whole life and you're yes. thinking, you know, like you've made it in life at this point and now you have to go now back you have to, to go back guys. to your schools and mm-hmm. look for these guys yeah. and tell them I'm applying to school, I'd like a recommendation mm-hmm. and some of them will tell you, who are you? Um, Excuse me, do I, I know you? Do I know? <laughs> <laughs> As a person who has been living your life, why are you looking for me? <laughs> which which year? <laughs> you said, what did I teach you? I know. And others yeah. will tell you write the recommendation letters. Send it to me to Send sign. It to me. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, you had to go through that. So there's mm. the application. There's application and to so you'll have like a checklist mm. from the different universities mm. that will tell you um we need the application letter, personal statement, mm. um proof of english they don't trust our english so they need to know if you have done a standardized test yeah. but uh luckily for the us which mm. is not for the other countries because mm. in the uk you have to do either ielts or i think toefl the mm. other one yeah so for here you you could just write to them and tell them hey guys i have studied in english all my all life, life so mm. i can speak english these are small things yeah <laughs> so so 
luckily enough, all the seven universities waived mm. that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so you go through that. So, um, 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 I know that you 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 apply. Mm-hmm. Then you have to await to be. Um, is it is it accepted? Approved? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How is that for you? So, um, well, there's also the application fee. Mm. Some schools don't mm-hmm. waive that, so mm. you're paying like seventy five dollars. I think on average it was seventy five to like ninety. So mm. in between that, mm. that's a lot of money. Um, <laughs> from where it's coming from <laughs> that was another reason why i'm thinking do i need to be doing this i know yeah is it worth it <laughs> and you have to pay this amount to all these universities because every university has its own amount yeah much. so some of them of course you write to them and you're like oh i love your university mm, i have windows or things yeah yeah, they, yeah. yeah but i'm not <laughs> able to afford the application fee can you waive it mm. so so some of them would mm. others wouldn't mm. uh but the, the majority did mm. that's that's nice yeah so fast forward fast forward mm. you've submitted everything <laughs> now the pressure because you start to get back um to hear back, back from, from them from them, like yeah. between january and march mm. So by March, end of March, you've gotten all the feedback and now because you have to start preparing for the visa process, which takes time. Sure. The pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Can oh imagine. Oh my goodness. You <sighs> wake up every day and you're checking your inbox because in Uganda, the time is like ahead. So mm-hmm. by the time you wake up, that's when you're getting responses. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you wake up under pressure. So of the seven, mm-hmm. I got into six. Ah. Mm-hmm. I got into six. I got into six. That's I was nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the deciding factor came back to the first thing I mentioned. Money. money. Yeah. So I got into Berkeley. I got into Georgetown. Ooh. I got into UPenn. I got into UCLA. Mm. Amazing law schools. Law schools, yeah. And then the one I applied to last, the one I didn't <laughs> exactly <laughs> want. <laughs> is the one that gave me the most money and that was decided for me mm. yeah so that was it really um and that was like feb march of 20 uh, of last year mm. yeah so once you hear back then they, they they walk you through the next steps to to prepare for your interview and to prepare to come okay so now they get back to you so at this point you've made up your mind and like you, you're like you know what eh? regardless of what i am doing here me i am going yeah yeah <laughs> so then um how do you eventually put this life aside you're like you know what this life is good but i mean life has to go on how do you was that an easy thing for you to do how were you able to put all that aside and just decide to move on like i'm leaving this i am just sick of you So um it's a scary moment. Mm-hmm. It's a transition time for your life. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think at the time we were going through a crisis as a family. Mm-hmm. So I basically had to deal with a crisis, come back to Uganda to do the visa interview and head out. So mm-hmm. it was a very stressful period in my life. Mm-hmm. And also the other thing I'll say at this point is most people are pushed away by the logistics where will i get the money where will the sure. funding come mm. but i had people who told me one step at a That's time yeah. don't try to figure out a hundred thousand <laughs> figure out the the, the air ticket. ticket yeah figure out accommodation mm-hmm. and bit by bit and the universe is so kind that when you choose to do something it conspires to make it happen. happen. <laughs> so that's the good news. Don't be discouraged. Mm. Um it will work out. It's tough. <laughs> mm. And half the time you're thinking, no, I'm not doing this. I remember <laughs> <laughs> I remember we, I reached out to someone to help help me with um with money. Mm. They were in position to help me. Mm. And so they asked me how much you have. So I told them the scholarship and what but I just told them I have. I didn't say it was a scholarship and I didn't actually have the physical money. Mm. And then they told me, "So do you have like sacks of the money like 
in your house <laughs> that you're going to to carry to carry in the suitcase and go oh, yeah wow. it was it was that kind of thing so mm. I made a decision to come mm. and no one prepares you. Oh yeah. And I'm glad you're doing these videos because yeah. I wish I had watched them yeah. before I came. I know. Because I know. that's the plan. Yeah, mm. no one prepares you for what you find. Yeah. So I put everything together. You have an apartment, you have a life. You're giving all that up and you have to yeah. figure it out. Do I sell uh, do I sell everything? Mm. Do I keep paying rent because <laughs> Will I make Will it? <laughs> What's it? Well, like if I get there and things are, you know, refusing, <laughs> and then that you've already closed shop, and and you come back and you even have no home. Sure. Mm. So I, I got here in July, July of 2022, mm -hmm. and yeah, I got here. And you started <laughs> live. So um, when you got here, did you have? family did you know anyone did you had you like figured out how things are going to be or again one day at a time so by the time i go to the u.s i had not figured out accommodation mm -hmm. so i had that pressure yeah i did not know anyone in the city where i was going to were going for school mm -hmm. Uh, so usually you talk to someone who talks to someone who says there's someone <laughs> who do i know but yeah yeah something like that so i did not know anyone in mm. chicago mm. i just knew that there were people that maybe my brother knew mm. my sister had had or as a cousin so yeah you just come it's, it's mostly a, a journey of faith honestly sure. mm -hmm. so i got here mm. um <laughs> <laughs> when you say hmm i know i hear you <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I uh, not to discourage anyone. This is something I would do all over again. It's, mm -hmm. It was an amazing year of school. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wish I had information. Like some of the things that you've talked about. Yeah. That's good information to have because mm -hmm. you know where to start. Sure. We had to figure all that out <laughs> by ourselves and, mm -hmm. and also adjust. So I got to... I, I first landed in Washington DC. Mm. I spent a few weeks here and then I flew out to Chicago. And then in that space of three weeks that's how I figured out accommodation mm -hmm. and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so of course I understand you figure out accommodation then you have to start school. Mm -hmm. Now this whole school setting, I know from Uganda school is I mean honestly by the time I also left Uganda, I was like, you know what, uh, school, no. So how is the experience in school? So you've gotten there and I understand you do not know where to begin, honestly. I think well, what you have is like a schedule. You guys have like schedules of... Oh, yeah. So, <coughs> so once you get admitted, well, once I was admitted, mm -hmm. they give you a school email address and then they, they do different um, Zoom meetings. Um, to tell you about accommodation, to tell you about the different uh, subjects to choose from. Mm -hmm. I have a meeting with um, the student body mm -hmm. and then there was an orientation for a w one week where you just come in, mm -hmm. uh, they take you around the school, um, you get to, well, to see where you're spending the next year and yeah. you're paired up with like students from the the other classes, the other years who have been mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. uh, to help you fit yeah. in. Mm -hmm. So we had orientation for one week and then the classes started the next day. Mm -hmm. And because everything is timed and there's time pressure, when you start, you, you actually start. start yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you hit the ground running. Okay. Yeah, so by the time Monday came, because orientation lasted up to Friday and the classes are starting on Monday, mm -hmm. you already have what the notes to read mm -hmm. and to prepare for the mm -hmm. next class. Uh, half of it doesn't make sense, but <laughs> that's a story. I know <laughs> that's a that story for, I for later. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, what were your major challenges? What is that one moment of <laughs> those things that you look back at and you're like, okay, if this did not kill me, me, I am not dying anytime soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, one of the things that, so one of the things that amazed me about being in this country mm. was that things actually work. Things like, 
traffic lights. <laughs> they actually work. <laughs> like actually people stop <laughs> and they wait yeah. for you to cross. To cross. <laughs> I know. Uh, where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. the taxi guy has already asked you if you think you're a zebra. Right. <laughs> a zebra, zebra crossing, crossing right? <laughs> right. So I was actually pleasantly surprised mm. <laughs> that the traffic lights work. So getting to class, mm. I get to class, <clears throat> the way the system works, you have credit for appearing mm. and you have credit for participating. Mm. And unlucky for me, the professions that I've chosen require me to speak. Now, this mm. was the shock of my life. I left Uganda. If you call people who can speak good English, you would call me. <laughs> I could speak English, you know. <laughs> oh, I go to class, mm -hmm. and they couldn't hear a single thing of what I, I was know. saying. I know. Huh? That was a shocker. <laughs> Okay. Like, how am I going to communicate if people don't understand what I'm saying? So, <laughs> even very the most basic statements. That's sure. Yeah. So that was hard. Mm. I I don't for some reason I had processed everything else, but that really hit me because mm -hmm. now the one thing that brought me to this country seemed to be falling mm -hmm. apart. True. They mm. can't hear me. <laughs> Like I thought I, I thought I can speak English. <laughs> you know what's funny? Just to uh, to what she's saying, um, it's. I think it goes back to the pronunciation of things. Uh, being, I think the fact that we we're British colonized, though we pronounce our words and everything just comes of different for for these guys. I personally, for the longest time ever, even today, I think I still struggle when um, when I hear like uh, Black Americans speak. I practically cannot hear what they're saying because some of them are either too fast mm -hmm. or the English is the other way. So I really struggle of like, if I can talk to somebody else who is not them, like I will in good faith because I will not understand. So they get the same with us as you're trying, as you're trying to say job, but what is that? Yeah. What is job? What is sport? Water. They do not know that. What is water? They don't understand those things. So you're out here speaking your water and your things and they're looking at you like, excuse me, what did you say? You know? What's that? Uh-huh. What's that? <laughs> Go ahead. Could you say that again? <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Mm. So that hit me hard. I was like, okay, I can't communicate. So, um, of course, you get depressed. You don't have your mother to run to. I know. Or your Rolex oh. guy. <laughs> <laughs> to help you, your border guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I just had to figure out, okay, what, what, what's, where is the disconnect in how I speak? Yeah. So that I'm able to communicate. Mm. So I worked on that. But the challenge is, you're trying to figure out how to communicate. You're trying to get used to the terrible food. Oh yeah. You're trying to get used to the train. The, the, and the buses that you've never oh, used. Oh, you're trying to get used to using Google Maps. <laughs> There's a time my friend and I spent an hour trying to find a bus in DC, going around in circles. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So, because there's too much change mm. all at once coming to you, I, I had, I almost, like I had, a, I had many breakdowns. Mm. I remember I sat in my room sometime and thinking, but at home they love me. <laughs> what am I doing here? My mother loves me. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. I could just go. I could go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they will love me. Mm -hmm. So, so, so there's all, <clears throat> all, all those moments. But um, that's not the problem. You cry. Mm -hmm. You you feel sad. Mm -hmm. And 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 you eat cake and a bucket of ice that's cream. cream. Mm -hmm. And then you carry on because <laughs> you just paid uh, lots of money to get here and yeah. failing is not part of it so 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 for me it wasn't one particular thing mm. it was so many things also mm. you're very lonely or oh, did i mention mm. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're practically <laughs> on your own i remember the apartment building i was staying in um everyone minds their business can you imagine <laughs> Like people actually mind their business. People mind their business. Like, like where I come from. What? Like, <laughs> you know, I'd be in my house and two days in my neighbors, uh, Liz, are you okay? Mm. Um, we've not, you've not moved out <laughs> in two days. Are you? I know. Here you could be in your room for two weeks. 
and a month no one is looking for you no one cares yeah so for me it was so many things and mm. then the shock of winter mm. it got dark at three yeah. <laughs> yeah and i wore my pages by the way <laughs> so i met my my roommate and she asked me are you okay i said yeah i'm okay She's like why are you wearing your pages I'm like it's time for bed i'm like wait oh my it's four why is it 4 p.m it's so dark so it's so dark <clears throat> yeah so so making those adjustments or having to eat dinner when it's 10 p.m and the sun is still out oh, in, the, in the mm-hmm. yeah so for me like combining all those mm-hmm. it was it was I, yeah that there were stressful moments mm-hmm. but it was also a lot of fun to mm-hmm. have yeah okay um this video is already long eh? i mean you could go on like i mentioned it's going to be segments of different different things but for today's video what what advice would you give to someone out there trying to decide should i should i not you know <laughs> <laughs> what should you say to that one person right now yeah all i can say is it's your dream mm-hmm. figure out where it is you want to be mm-hmm. and you start so usually I love to say you start from the end. You're like I want to be a doctor. So what does it take for me to get to there. get there? Mm-hmm. So you want to come to the US. Google is your best friend. Find mm-hmm. out what will it take to be here. And don't expect people to share in your dream. That is the other. <laughs> You'll be disappointed because it's your dream. Mm-hmm. I can't expect her to understand it. Yeah. I can't expect my parents, my my sisters, my mom at some point told me, <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> You're so stressed. <laughs> Why don't you give up, you know? Mm-hmm. So even her, and she meant well because yeah. she could see I was worked up. Mm-hmm. But I would say the end result is what it a sure. million times it mm. will not compare to the stress of you know figuring it out mm. and if you have questions you can always you know ask her i'm sure she will be glad to answer if there are some mm. that i can answer. i am not going to be answering any questions so <laughs> <when you're> not... <laughs> yeah i definitely all the questions that you're going to be asking um if we need to make another video about anything else just let us know in the comment section uh elizabeth is very available and she's very ready to go all the way with you yeah. if you have any questions she's very 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 ready to go all writing the way. personal statements reviewing mm. which universities which cities exactly she, she, she she's got you i think we should just have a whole like a playlist for that where we just come to talk about school because i know different people want to do this you know the process the visa stuff i mean is it assured that if i'm going to do school i am definitely going to uh my visa is going to be approved those things yeah yeah so that's everything we're going to be talking about and um thank you so much for sticking with us throughout this video i know i could go forever and ever but you all would not want to watch an hour video <laughs> how long has it been <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to leave this here and when we come back we shall probably Pick choose from up, one yeah. of those questions that you'll have yeah. but i have a whole list of things to talk about and i'm very grateful thank you for choosing to do this yeah. you know i have wanted to have people on the channel but i did not have people to guys this country yeah so like back home where you're like okay i can go to this mm-hmm. and this one's <laughs> office and be like hey you know what ah but again, uh, thank you so much for watching to the very end. I hope I've given you, we've given you a reason to subscribe. We'll see you in our next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>